1993, ID Software released a game that changed the face of gaming. This game, of course, is Doom, which you can run on many, many different platforms, including, as you can see here, running on the iMac G3. Now, did you know that you can also, if you are lucky enough to be the proud owner of a Pocket PC, the future of computers, did you know you can also get Doom running on this little thing, this little thing from the 2000s, early 2000s? Well, you can, and today I'm going to show you how. Right, the first thing you're going to need is one of these, an Pocket PC. Uh, I'm using an HP iPad here, but uh, any Pocket PC uh, should do the job, and it's going to have to have an SD card for transferring the files. Uh, I've got the one gig card that came with it. So let's put this on the computer and do the next bit. Right, the first thing you're going to need are two files, one called doom1.wad. This is a commercially available file, uh, so I can't tell you where to get this from. Uh, just get it from where you usually get these sort of things from. And another file called doom.exe. This is available on this Doom4CE site. It's called Doom4CE on this site. And you can download it here. I shall do it right now. When you get to the next page, it's going to want you to sign on Facebook or sign on with Google+. But if you go to this little link down here, it says Alternative Download. Hit that. And you don't have to sign in anything then. You download it for free. There we go. And there it is. So if we just grab that, show it a finder, drag that file across the desktop. Okay, we can get rid of this lot. And if we just unzip that, there we go, you'll find a file called doom.exe. We can now get rid of that one. There's doom.exe and there's doom1.wad for the two files we need. So go to your SD card, which will look different if you're running Windows. On the SD card, you will need to create a folder called Doom, or it will not work. Uh, and then just drag the two files across to there. Ta -da. Okay, once that's done, eject your card, and then it will go across to the iPack. Right, once that's all done, you can grab your iPack, put your SD card in. <laughs> switch on you'll then need to go to start uh, programs file explorer uh, look for your storage card which is there and you'll see your doom directory so click on doom you'll then see two files one of which is 557k that's the one you want click on that and it opens doom for ce now you'll have to do this every time you play because i found no way around this but if you hit custom mod files uh, game primary mod file doesn't show anything so you'll have to manually select that one click ok and you'll see it start to boot Ta just take a while but it gets there there we go doom so hit that button there we can go new game Uh, knee deep, hurt me plenty, and there we go, we are in Doom, you can change the size of the screen, but you'll always get the keyboard, uh, everything's already dead here because I've already come through this section, there we go, but we can still blow stuff up, so there we go, Doom working on a pocket PC, who'd have thought, <laughs> If you have any more games like this that uh, you, you think are good on the Pocket PC, then let me know and I'll see if I can do a video on them. So, other than that, if you like these sorts of videos and haven't subscribed already, then uh, please feel free to subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so it actually tells you when new videos are coming out. Other than that, uh, why not join us on Twitter and join us on our Facebook group if you like, like meeting like-minded people. Other than that, Thank you very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.